Perhaps one of the animals you would commonly see in the Upper Peninsula. But at the Garland Zoo in Nobbin Way, you'll get a chance to get up close and personal with creatures you wouldn't normally find in Michigan. Kayleen Corey stopped by the zoo giving us a look at some of the unique animals. Good morning, guys. Well, this is so cool. We are inside the lemur cage here at the Garland Zoo, and they are hopping all over the place. And I don't know if it's because we're in here or they're ready to eat. So we're going to feed them here in just a little bit. I'm here with Gary Moore. <laughs> they don't stop. So, Gary, what kind of food do they eat? Uh, they eat fruits and vegetables, and there's a, a product they call a leaf eater biscuit <laughs> that, they, that they like. Fruits and veggies, and that's probably their natural, what they would find that's, out in the wild. That's their natural diet, yes. <laughs> Where do these come from? Where do you... They're from the island of Madagascar. Okay. They're an endangered species, and endangered mainly due to deforestation. Um, they're not... I don't believe they're hunted for food or anything. It's just the fact there's no habitat. Their habitat is yeah. going away. Um, so, obviously, Madagascar, a little bit different climate than here in the uh, Upper Peninsula. So, what happens during the winter? These guys have to go inside. We have uh, converted our garage to house some animals for the winter that need heat. I'm going to see if they're going to eat something here. They're, I think, a little nervous, <laughs> jumping all around. Maybe they'll grab Bendy. something. Bendy. There we go. <laughs> that one ate. Now, the other animals, you a lot of them you feed once a day. How often do these guys eat? These are fed, uh, I feed them twice a day. And they get enough probably the first time that I like contact with these guys. So mm -hmm. I come in again and give them some more in the evening. <laughs> now, is this like a little family we got in here? That looks like a baby that's, there. Yep, that's the, the dad, the mom is the one that just took the food, and then <laughs> the baby that was born in uh, May this year. Oh, okay, so a real young one. And how long do they normally live? These will live probably 20 to 30 years. Really? Even in captivity? Usually captivity, uh, an animal will live longer than they do in the wild. Okay. They're getting, they get medical care and better food and there isn't the stress involved. <laughs> Look at them now. And they are, if you've never seen one, they are known for their leaping abilities, right? Uh, yep, I would say so. Le leaping lemurs, I call them. Leaping lemurs. Well, there they are climbing all around, but we've got food, so they're eating. <laughs> there they go. Oh, pretty neat stuff here. Too cool to be up this close to them, but you do have to watch. You don't want to stick your fingers in here because they will bite, huh? Yeah, they, <laughs> they could bite. They think your fingers they are food. They have, but they could. There they go, eating away. All right, well, there's a lot more to see here at the Garland Zoo, so we'll have more exotic animals when we come back. Hey, maybe they think Corey's related to him. They won't get away from his camera. That's another, another than many possibilities. Right.